Hello! When I was young, Star Wars was cool, and now it's just like a mass of congealed excrement with Jar Jars and Clone Wars falling out of it. I mean, currently Yoda's advertising phones for Pete's sake. Why do you want your spokesman to be a fictional hippie goblin thing? I don't know. Anyway, I'm sure everything will be made better by Star Wars fighter pods. I have no understanding of what these are. It includes one figure and one pod. Fair enough. What's the pod? Is it like that thing? I don't know. It can be a squinty Darth Maul, a Luke, a Chewie, a Leia, a Darth Vader, a clone trooper, or a Boba Fett, or one of many other things. Presumably, does it say how many to collect? No, it's just got writing on it in about 40 languages. And many warnings and actungs all over it for the 0 to 3 sad onions. Go on then. Let's see what it's like. Oh, it's like a sheet of paper. No, let's ignore that. Um, oh my goodness. So that's the pod. It's just like a vaguely Star Wars looking clear plastic thing with Star Wars written on it. And it's a little snow trooper, very rubbery with kind of a little hole on it, which presumably if it fits in here. Oh no, I was going to say maybe it fits on there. Oh yes, it does. Look, there, there we are. Marvellous. You know, I'm not really a fan of these uh, super deformed style things. And I'm not massively a fan of this either. In fact, this is kind of becoming a bit of a beacon for how depressing Star Wars is these days. Shall I burn it? No! Things will not be that simple. Your punishments must be more severe. Yes. I'm going to get that weird thing in the back of the garage out. No, I'm not talking about the old carpet or the insert coin mechanism off an old Operation Wolf cabinet. Back in a minute. Oh man, that thing's heavy. I'm not entirely sure what it is. Well, it's obviously a press of some kind, but it's massively weighty, made out of cast iron, I would guess, and very rusty as a result, hence why I am wearing gloves. No, I do not know why it is in the garage. No, I do not care. Guess what's going to happen here? Hint. I should point out, by the way, that the snow trooper is not the only snow trooper in the set. Apparently, they've got other ones holding the gun at a slightly different angle, which I think goes some way to explaining a lot of what is wrong with Star Wars these days. I seem to remember seeing at one point in the past a action figure, and this is absolutely true, of Luke Skywalker in Stormtrooper disguise with wet look hair. And it was an exclusive with a board game. That's the kind of levels they reached years ago. So, yeah. I can see how this is going to go. Shall we give it a few turns, friends? Let's do this thing. This is for Jar Jar Binks. This is for Star Wars Episode One. This is for Jake Lloyd and what you did to his career and his sanity. This is for the uh, love scene dialogue in Star Wars Episode Two. So is this. So is this. So is this. And so is this. This is for that bit where Anakin rides on the top of a balloon animal and it looks shit and CGI and fake and rubbish. This is for the other bit where he floats an apple towards Padme and again it looks rubbish. I mean, how much money did you have? Why put a scene in if it doesn't look any good? This is for the overall plot arc of the prequels. Uh, this is for Jar Jar Binks again. This is for having Terence Stamp and not doing anything with him. This is also for wasting Peter Serafina Witch. This is for wasting Ray Park. Uh, actually, this is pretty much for wasting every single actor you had your hands on. This is for that ridiculous goiter that's drawing itself out of uh, George Lucas's neck as we speak. Uh, this is for pretty much all of episode three. This is for that appalling Clone Wars cartoon, the 3D rendered thing. I mean, you got uh, Tartarovsky in, didn't you? You had to do cool ones first, and then what happened? You had to go and ruin even that, didn't you? I'll tell you what, let's just go for broke. Because remembering this stuff is just depressing me. Right, I think we're getting some purchase now. <clears throat> yeah, there's not a lot of uh, depth under there, but it's still going. I hope we can get this open afterwards. <coughs> Feel free to uh, write in the comments, by the way, your most annoying Star Wars thing. I imagine that will be quite long. Well, I think that's done its job. I shall now remove that, go over to the sofa, and we can see what it's like. Well, there we go. 
due to its rubbery nature, it's mostly survived. It's got a bit squashed. Now, so it's covered with some horrifying black grease that apparently the inside of the press was full of. Wasn't aware of that. Oh well, what are we going to do now? It had to be done.